Hello everyone, this is Stunt Collector here with another action figure review, and here I finally was able to get the Retro Venom figure that is a Hasbro exclusive, where people are basically selling them for a uh, range between like 80 to 100 bucks, maybe a little over 100 bucks. So I somehow managed to get this off of Mercury, so I had to pay 80 bucks for it. But I'm not going to regret it, I'm pretty sure. But let's go over the box on the outside first. So first we get the Venom's eyes with the pupils. And then you get the red shade here, the blue shade around there. You get his nice sharp teeth. He's like pinkish purplish gums. You get some purple in there around the lips. And then you get the green like spit he has with the red outline around it. And then here is this side there with the Venom logo varnish, which I like a lot. I am not throwing this away. And you can get that nice cool picture of Venom there. Let's see if I can kind of block the light there. You can kind of see him a little bit. And then here's the other side. Here is the top with nothing. And then here's the bottom with the DCPI. But besides that, carefully cut this thing open. And here is the package inside that box, which I like a lot. This is a retro card that we usually get. So first we get the retro Spider-Man logo from the 90s series, Marvel Comics logo there. Here we get the billboard picture of Venom with his shade effects there, which I love. Venom. And then you get the city background there. Here's the Venom figure. Nothing on the sides. Here is the back with that Spider-Man logo again. Venom here on the right. And then you could see that you could swatch out, swap out heads with the one with the tongue or the one where he's like smiling a little bit or grinning. And then you get that nice picture of Venom there. And then you get a description of Venom down here. And then here is the DCPI. But besides that, let's crack this thing open. And here is the Retro Venom figure out of the packaging here. And I absolutely love this thing. It's awesome. So let's first go over the accessories. So first, you get his left fist here with that red shading around there. You get a little bit of blue on his thumb to get that nice, uh, I forgot what it's called, the color shading effect that you had in the series. But yeah, these fists are huge. Like, they're massive. Like, this is an upscaled Venom, by the way. And then you get his right fist here, which is the reverse. So you get the blue on the forearms and the knuckles there. And then the red on the thumb area, which is good. And then we get the extra head sculpt here where he does not have the tongue out. But you can see that it's kind of all curled up there in his mouth. You get the red shade effect on his left. The blue shade effect on his right there. You get the nice white teeth with the um, gums. Um, and then you get the white eyes with the pupils there this is an awesome head sculpt i like this a lot and then here is venom up close and my god this thing is awesome <laughs> i have zero regrets paying for what i paid for it <laughs> um but yeah this is the head sculpt where he has his tongue out so basically the same exact head sculpt i believe just with the tongue actually out so yeah you kind of see it's the same thing with the tongue and it kind of looks like a snake tongue because it splits right there and then you get the blue shade effects on the right side of him, the entire right side. And then you get a little bit of red in the inner shoulder and biceps and the thumb. Because, you know, what would be cool if you did a red light shining that way in the blue, that would be a pretty cool effect. I think I've seen someone do that before. And then you get that nice venom spider there on his, uh, on his chest there. You get the nice crisp black lines between the legs. Goes all the way through the back, which looks awesome. I love this logo a lot. Uh, I think the back looks a little small, but the front looks pretty good. I like that a lot. Then you get the red shades here on his other side with the blue on his thumb. You get the nice sharp nails for him, too. These are brand new. Oh, these are brand new hand sculpts, too. Like, we've never seen these hands before. And I really like the forearms a lot because you get this, like, really veiny look on his forearms. And then the legs here, you get the red shade effects on the outer part of his thighs and uh, leg and foot. And then the inner part of his uh, shin and the inner thigh here, you get the blue, inner thigh, inner shin, you get the red, inner thigh, I mean outer thigh and inner, uh, outer shin, you get the blue, and then the blue on top of the feet, which look awesome. And then you get some of that effects on the back here on his quads, no, not quads. His uh, 
I forgot what you call them, but behind the legs. And these are, this thing is huge. I love this thing. So let's go over to the articulation. So he has a disc ball joint head, so you can go down that much. You can look up that much. Oh yeah, I also mentioned, I forgot to mention, he has pig holes for some reason. I don't know what, but you got left and right motion there. Not a whole lot of head bending though. Shoulders can move out that far. 360 rotation there. He has butterfly joints, which is awesome. Yeah, his his arm keeps popping off this one specifically. Yeah, biceps will double jointed elbows. I do wish they were pinless, but I don't mind it. This thing is pretty cool, and that kind of gets the shade effects or kind of get rid of it. That little complaint. And then wrist hinge down that far. And then I don't know why this wrist hinge keeps popping off. Goes up that far. 360 rotation there. He has an app crunch that goes down that far, backwards that far. He has a waist swivel, 360 rotation there. Legs kick, kick out that far. Forward a whole lot, Jesus. Backwards now a whole lot. Thigh cut, double jointed knees, still pinned. And then ankles can hinge down that far, up that far, nice ankle pivot. And just to give you a sense of the scale, this is a retro Venom next to the retro Spider-Man. Let's see if I can get him straight up a little bit. So. That's how tall he is compared to Spider-Man, which is pretty dang accurate because he's huge. So, and then here's the Retro Venom next to the Venom for the Monster Venom build a figure. And you could definitely see the size. Like this guy is bulky and tall, whereas this guy is like a little bit, a little leaner, but he's still bulky. And he's a little shorter, not a whole lot shorter, but he's pretty short. I love this because of how bulky he is though. And then here is the movie Venom next to the Retro Venom. And the movie Venom kind of beats him with the height barely, though. It's just a little higher. Not a whole lot. But still, I I think this is my favorite Venom figure. Just because of the matte look, whereas this one's a shiny look. So, yeah, that's the Retro Venom for you. I really like this figure. I actually do not mind paying, paying 80 bucks for this figure at all. Uh, the only complaints that I have is that the arm keeps falling off. And there's pinholes on his uh, traps here on his shoulders. So I don't know why they put those on there. It's probably a reused body mold, but I've never seen it before. I don't know. What body mold do you guys think it was from? I don't know. But um, like I said, uh, it still has pin joints, but kind of, it, it, I kind of forgive that because of the shading. It kind of draws that way, so it doesn't bother me too much. Whereas the Spider-Man figures, you get the red pins on the inner part of the elbows, which aren't supposed to be there. But, like I said, I love this figure. I didn't mind uh, paying 80 bucks for it at all. Um, if you are really into Spider-Man and Venom, I highly recommend you try to get it if you can. Um, I wouldn't go over... So if I were you, if you want to get it, I would not go over a price limit of 120 100 is kind of pushing it, but... I got mine for 80, so you should be able to find yours for 80 bucks. But yeah, he's an awesome figure. Highly recommend it. Um, but besides that, that's all I got. If you guys want to check out my link tree, it has my Twitch, Instagram, and TikTok if you want to help me support me on those. But yeah, that's all I got. Thanks for watching. <laughs>